We are about one month away until the premiere of American Horror Story 1984, and since my last 1984 video, American Horror Story has had an attraction at Comic-Con, some set photos have surfaced, a poster has been released, and a few more teasers have been released. So today, I'll break down all of the new developments regarding the production of the season, as well as get into some popular fan theories and speculation regarding what will actually go down once 1984 premieres on September 18th. I'm going to start with discussing what went down at 1984's installment at Comic-Con, and basically the biggest thing to come out of this was the reveal of the location for the season, as the attraction took place at a summer camp called Camp Redwood. So get ready to see all of those awful ads for those t-shirts that just keep getting longer and longer. The rest of the Comic-Con experience was just basically an interactive, almost haunted house type tour of a camp bunkhouse. Nothing too revealing, but it did feature a few nods to past seasons. Moving on, so just this week, the first official poster for the season was released. It features a woman screaming as a knife smashes through a wooden door, much like the first teaser we got back in April. As for my opinion on this being the poster for the season, I will say I do like it. It's obviously paying homage to the classic slasher posters with a knife being the focal point of the poster. And I think it does a good job at staying true to the ad campaign that they have built for the season so far. However, when compared to previous seasons, the imagery is not nearly as strong, shocking, or scary as the other season's posters. It is very reminiscent of the Scream Queens ad campaigns, and to a lot of people, this season does seem like if Scream Queens got a third anthological season. Which, as you know, I'd be down for, but so far this ad campaign is shifting in a different direction than the ad campaigns for previous seasons. So along the same lines as the poster, we've gotten a new slew of teasers taking place at Camp Redwood. The new teasers are all a part of the American Horror Story Survivor Sweepstakes, which is now closed to enter, but basically they released a bunch of teasers introducing us to these slasher stereotype characters, and you had to choose which one you think would survive, and now they're starting to release the teasers of all these characters' deaths. My prediction for these teasers is that they're just going to end up killing them all. These teasers, of course, feature no actual cast members or characters, but it does seem that they may have been filmed at the actual set for the season, but we won't know for sure until we get some actual episode footage. So far, I'm a fan of these teasers, but once again, they are very on the nose and not at all like previous American Horror Story teasers in terms of shocking imagery and being unpredictable. These are very predictable teasers so far, but this makes me think that maybe they're exhausting all of these slasher norms and tropes just so that we're shocked when the actual season is a completely different tone than the promotional material is painting it out to be. As usual, there are some set leaks that may or may not have come from the set of 1984, but unlike previous seasons, the photos don't really reveal anything new. These set photos really just give us a look at the set for the show, and it's really nothing we haven't seen from the teasers. In previous seasons, at this point, we would usually have some uh, actual photos of the cast. Uh, I know it happened for Cult and Apocalypse, and for Roanoke we had basically the whole Roanoke Village set leaked to us. So yeah, in comparison, 1984 is doing a great job at keeping it under wraps, and it does appear that they haven't really filmed on any other locations than the summer camp location and possibly uh, 20th Century Fox sound stages. Because for Apocalypse, most of our leaks came from uh, the scenes they filmed in downtown Los Angeles for the first episode. So before I move on to theories, I just want to bring attention to the large amount of false information that is being spread online about this season. Largely, this information is being spread by Twitter and Instagram news accounts run by fans, so I say news in quotations. It really gets under my skin because these accounts are spreading rumors and disguising them as official news, and people are actually believing them. I made a whole thread on Twitter debunking a bunch of false information, and I'll be sure to update it with more bullshit as I see it, but just be aware, if you see a fact or update about 1984 that is not posted by an official source like FX themselves, or genuine news outlets like Deadline or Variety, make sure there is a genuine source behind the fact before you believe it, because a lot of these accounts are not citing sources or even having sources. Also. If you happen to run one of these accounts, you should probably uh, look into the idea of journalistic principles and you should be citing your sources if you want to be seen as reliable. Alright, just had to get that off of my chest because it is driving me insane. But anyway, moving on to the theories. 
So I'm going to start with some of my own general theories and then go into some popular online theories and even some theories that you guys sent me. Theory number one, the theme is not really a teen summer camp slasher. Now I've seen this general sentiment online, but I don't really necessarily believe this one. But knowing American Horror Story, it doesn't seem completely impossible. So as you know, the ad campaign is going all in when it comes to being very clear on the theme and setting of this season, but all of the promotional material feels like we've seen it before. And that is because every teaser and poster we've got is packed full with homages to other slashers, which American Horror Story loves an homage, so it's not necessarily out of the blue, but these teasers are purely homage and very little is new. And specifically, the sweepstakes teasers seem like they're advertising a remake of Friday the 13th. It's all been cut dry and simple, nothing particularly unique has been suggested yet, so either they'll keep this up up until the premiere or the trailer for the season will give away the twist. So the theory is that maybe the entire theme is wrong and they're doing what they did with season 6 again and keeping the real theme a surprise. Or the general setup is a cliche summer camp slasher, but then there's some other element that makes it fresh and unique. Uh, I do believe there has to be another element to this, but I think that we all know that there is a lot about the season's premise that we do not know yet. Theory number two. The twist is that the location is actually a movie set for a teen slasher. This one has been going on for a while, and it's hard to see who said it first, but the first person to put it on Reddit was you slash o Steven. So basically, going along with the first theory, the idea is that our main cast are playing actors that are filming a movie. And then maybe things start going wrong and people actually start getting killed. Think Scream 3 mixed with American Horror Story Roanoke. The thing that gives this theory some credence is that the cast teaser was released under the pretense of it being a camera test, which of course can be interpreted as actual Emma Roberts and actual Angelica Ross and so on doing camera tests for their actual 1984 roles, or it could be interpreted that it is their characters doing camera tests for a fictional movie that they are about to make. I do think this concept is a little too similar to Roanoke, but I can see them straying away from the ground they've already treaded if they do end up going for this concept. Similar concepts have been done in movies like Scream 3, Halloween Resurrection, but of course this concept has not nearly been done as much as the premise they're currently setting up, so in a way it's less cliche. To me this would make sense for them, and I actually do think it could turn out really cool if they do go this direction. I've always loved the second half of Roanoke for toying with this concept, and I think the season would have been better if it had this type of concept for more than just the last five episodes. To me, Roanoke was strong in its concept and its horror, and it was strong visually in my opinion, and I think it was more weak in pacing, story, and characters. So if 1984 can rework this concept into the show and execute it with characters that the audience can connect to and care about, then I think this concept is a home run. Half of me wants this to turn out to be true, and half of me is a little reluctant. But moving on to theory number three. This one comes from uh, you slash BLXRay on Reddit, who says that 1984 may be going for a similar premise as the 2012 film Cabin in the Woods. He says, think about it, 1984 is a book by George Orwell about Big Brother watching over people. And the slasher aspect of it would come from an organized scenario where the people in charge terrorize the victims. Alright, so I do think this theory is plausible, and if you remember in my first video about 1984 after the title was announced, one of the first things I thought of was the Orwell novel. I think that the book titled 1984 will definitely have some influence on the show, as the year was definitely chosen for a reason. If the year wasn't important, I would imagine Ryan and FX would change the year in order to avoid confusion with the countless other things with the year 1984 in them, including the next Wonder Woman movie. I know the Wonder Woman poster came out around the same news cycle as the 1984 teasers, so they're already kind of being promoted at the same time. But anyway, I do think that if not the book, then the year 1984 definitely has some meaning. Alright, so those are the three main theories I wanted to talk about, but now let's do a speed round of what you guys think will happen in the season. I asked you guys on my Instagram, which you should all go follow by the way, it's at skylar.gaetano. But first, Vera Bennett 2018 says that they think Lana Winters will be involved in some way. Christian Strode thinks that there's going to be something more than a slasher. It's Tom Pozo thinks it's more than a movie set. American Horror Fan thinks that Sarah Paulson will end up being the unmasked killer, similar to Mrs. Voorhees in the first Friday the 13th. 
All right, so let me know your theories about the season. Let me know what you think about the ones I presented in this video. And just let me know any thought you've ever had in the comments below. Subscribe for more 1984 content and give this video a like. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Skylar Gaetano on Twitter and at Skylar.Gaetano on Instagram. See you next time. To freedom!